God, there's a lot of Mexicans in here. I haven't seen this many Mexicans since I was in night school. <laughs> Don't get mad. A couple of you are booing. Don't boo me on that. Mexicans always hang out in places with the word night in it. Night school, night club, night court. You know what you're doing at night. You got night covered. So uh, let me tell you a bit about myself. For fun, I like to go to battered women's shelters, walk right up to the front door and be like, where is she? You with the bruises, talk to me. And I'm funny, right? <laughs> you all right, lady? <laughs> I have never seen someone like hack up a lung and grab their arm after a joke. You all right? You gonna be all right? All right. Someone breathe. Let her breathe. Some girl take off her shirt and give her mouth to mouth. <laughs> Hurry. She could die. Take off your shirt. Go give her mouth to mouth. Let's go. You alright? Alright. <laughs> Edwin was talking about dogs. <laughs> this is so messed up, man. Where we are right here, I was taking a little walk down Colorado Boulevard. There was a homeless man with a dog. With a dog. Homeless man with a dog. How messed up is that for that dog? That dog just must be going, dude, um, really, when is our walk over? I get it. I feel lucky because I'm a dog and I like to walk. This is good. All right. Let's go home. Where do we live? Give me the keys and a map. I'll meet you there. Let's walk to Kinko's. It's map quested. You lived. Excellent. You guys heard about the secret? All right, some of you have. Let me tell you about the secret. The secret is the number one book in America. It's the number one DVD in America. It's basically this self-help DVD that teaches you the law of attraction. They say that Thomas Jefferson and other great minds use this law of attraction. If you visualize something, like, mm, I stare at her boobs long enough, maybe I'll get them someday. <laughs> But if you visualize it and you see how happy you'd be if you got it, it will come to you. You just have to just push forward and think about it all the time. And, and so, I don't even know what she just said, but would you like to buy a vowel? Vanna? Bing! Okay, thank you. No, no, she just came back from the dead. They say crazy things when they die. I've never died, but... Well, I did die once, and they were like, come into the light, and... Oh, wait, not you. Go away, go away. You're not with us. <laughs> Tip that waitress, you guys. Okay? <laughs> Tip her. She's got a wooden leg with a real foot. <laughs> she needs the money. So the secret, listen. Basically, if you saw it, some of you did... It says, start off small. Don't jump at the lottery right away. Test it. Use your powers. You got new magic powers. Think of a parking spot. I live in Valencia. That's far, man. I get home at 3 in the morning. There's never a parking spot at my condo, man. I'm like, every night, I'm like, come on, spot, nothing. So I started using the secret. I'm like, oh, yeah, come on, secret. When I see that spot, I'll be like, yeah, come on, yeah. All of a sudden, it starts working. I get home, and right next to where I live, I'm pulling in, pulling in pulling in. And then Oprah opened up her big mouth, her nappy-headed whole mouth, and told the whole country about the secret. And then 60 Minutes opened up their nappy-headed whole mouths and told everybody. Now everybody knows the secret. I don't have a magic power anymore. I'm driving home. I'm like, come on, spot. Let's see that spot. I see the spot. Someone else pulls in. I look in their car, and the guy's like, oh, yeah. 
How is that a magic power? It's like asking a genie for invisibility or something. Like, because that's what I'd ask for, because that's what guys would do, right? You'd ask for that. So we could watch you girls pee or do whatever we'd. <laughs> that's what we want. I mean, we would go to the locker room, we'd wait in the restroom. And then we'd be like, we picked a horrible magic power because you can't even steal from a bank. They'll just see money floating and shoot the air because it's worthless. And then what would happen, see, basically it'd be like wishing for invisibility and then your genie being a little whore and giving it to everybody. And now you're waiting in the women's room, you know, like an asshole for hours, hearing the toilets flush, going, what the fuck is happening? Thank you, Oprah. <laughs>